So you will reap what you sow. Ages back, Hillary Clinton had told Pakistan, if you nurture snakes in your backyard and feed them milk in the fond hope that they will only attack your enemies, I'm afraid it's going to come back to haunt you. It is now. <coughs> you have to look within for the answers. And as to I... what you will answer your Chinese friends whose China-Pakistan economic corridor project you have gravely <coughs> threatened by your absolute failure, failure to provide protection to your Chinese co-host, to your Chinese uh, I, workers, I like to, go to, to the Chinese construction yeah. engineers. I'd like to. I'd like to go to uh, uh, go to go to Faraz. You know, uh, Faraz. Traditionally, Pakistan has been a great enemy. sponsor and supporter. Great sponsor and can I speak to Faraz, please? A sponsor and supporter of terrorist attacks, especially a great fan of suicide bombings. So whatever is happening right now inside Pakistan is the kind of attack that the Pakistanis generally have been very supportive of. Uh, in this particular case as well, you know, you tried your best to convince the Chinese. Uh, in fact, your interior minister went to the Chinese embassy to meet the Chinese investigators and he asked them, please don't leave. Why are the Chinese not believing you? Why, not, why are the Chinese not believing you? Why have they started pulling back? Now, Arnab, it's absolutely clear that Pakistan has to rethink its uh, uh, engagement with the Chinese because, again, uh, we've seen... That uh, there has been a spate of attacks on the Chinese nationals um, and the security lapses are out there and the Chinese, of course, will not compromise on the nationals being killed on Pakistani soil. Now, I also have to, I've been, I've been reiterating the fact that, you know, what Pakistan is going through. Uh, when Afghan Jihad entered in 90s, uh, Pakistan was left with all, all those snakes apparently left behind by the Hillary Clintons and the George Bushes of the Americans. And, you know, Hillary Clinton did agree that, you know, we left the Taliban and we left all those snakes back for Pakistan uh, to deal with. Uh, now what happened was the U.S. left Afghanistan <laughs> yet again and Pakistan has to fight all those splinter groups, which is uh, the mess of the world, which is left for us. You know, uh, I have to uh, mention one important thing. Uh, there, there has been three consecutive attacks on the Chinese interest in Pakistan, one on Gawadar uh, Port Authority, the other uh, on uh, Naval Air Base, and again on Bisham, uh, which is just 270 kilometers away from Islamabad. There has been another attack just two weeks ago where Pakistan's lieutenant colonel uh, was martyred by the attack, and uh, following which Pakistan launched a an attack on Afghanistan to, to, you know, to target all those splinter groups who have been targeting uh, Pakistani nationals and the Chinese nationals on Pakistani soil. So we have to deal with all those splinter groups, all those uh, terrorists who have been left behind uh, with... No, you don't with, have to deal with, with them. Uh, for us, lethal for us, 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 there is the problem. Just one minute, for us, can I ask you a question? One minute, one minute. I'll get it, Sushant. But I'll say one thing to you. Faraz, Faraz, just one minute, please. You used to say that all these terrorist groups, right, they have very strong ideologies and beliefs. And till two years back or one year back, you used to come on my program and say, they're not terrorists, they're all freedom fighters. They want freedom. They're fighting for their religion. We support them. They are the Mujahideen. They are our people. They are our brothers. They're fighting for their religious rights. They're fighting there for their sovereign rights. You Taliban. used to support them and now you're saying they were saddled by them. In fact, if I make it be allowed to complete, the biggest fan of the Taliban was Imran Khan, Sushant, who said, I, I really pray for the Taliban, for their long life, for the Taliban and the tahrik e taliban I, I because know, they I have know, broken the shackles of slavery. These were the I words. These were the I words. I am the biggest advocate of yeah. Taliban. So, uh, These were the I words. Arnav, Arnav, you have to ask These were the words. I want to bring in Sushant into the debate. What? Sushant. Yeah, Sushant. So Ahmed, Ahmed, Sushant Ahmed, is Ahmed, coming Ahmed. in. You know, it's, it's uh, of course, Imran Khan is not Sushant blameless. is coming in. Yeah. Ahmed, uh, be Ahmed. quiet for a while, Sushant. Yeah, look, Imran is, of course, not blameless, but neither is anybody else in Pakistan. You know, all those generals... Uh, no, Faraz was being somewhat disingenuous when he says that, you know, in the 90s, the Americans just packed their bags and left and we were left holding the can. 
no you were not left holding the can you thought you can exploit that situation you you thought you were onto a good thing jihad had become an instrument of foreign policy you used it against india you used it in bosnia you are fingerprints were found in jihadist activities around the world so please don't give us that the americans left you holding the can no you wanted to hold the can one number two for 20 years when the americans were in afghanistan you were backing the taliban wholeheartedly <laughs> you were siding with the americans and you were siding with the taliban and you were giving them support and sanctuary and as arnab says that uh, you know those evocative words of imran khan that uh, they broken the shackles of slavery now suddenly their guns have turned on to you and now you guys are complaining but i think arnab is very important to understand what is happening on the china front i think the chinese have already understood that cpec is a dead economically a dead project all the projects in which they invested money they are losing money chinese investments have literally dried up in pakistan they are not even giving them any loans or anything right now they are rolling over old loans now <laughs> suddenly with these attacks the chinese are now saying ke yaar na to paisa sab hamara safe hai na hamari jaan safe hai so our lives are also a threat and our money is also a threat so they are pulling out a little bit or at least going Amen. into some Amen. kind of hibernation for now on some of these projects now the problem for the chinese is that the pakistanis have this thing you know they will indulge in all kinds of bombast that we will do this we will give you this janab you have come you know the kind of servility you see in the pakistani from the president to the, the right, army yeah. chief to the right. prime minister going to the chinese embassy genuflecting yeah, before these fellows literally we want their knees that please you know don't ditch us today the interior minister was going to meet some investigators out there why couldn't the investigators come to the interior minister's office but so they think they will do all of this and they'll woo back the chinese but the chinese also understand that all these assurances mean absolutely nothing because a lot of people within the pakistani establishment are also hand in glove with the terrorists there is i have often said this there is no terrorism in pakistan there is an internecine warfare taking place between the jihadists no. who are aligned to the pakistani state and the jihadists who are aligned to uh, op- the opposition to the pakistani state the mentality is the same it's 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 jihad versus jihad now you can take your pick everybody who dies is some of them are protagonists other people are collateral damage and that is the reality there is no terrorism in pakistan it's a civil war between two factions of jihadists and the chinese are getting caught in it i don't know how long they then they can i say something eventually they they'll pack their bags give me one go. minute okay thank you i will say yeah, i mean Ame Ame one Ame person Ame. imran khan sitting a live in the prison is Ame. still Ame. on the nerve of sushant sirin gorav vaghya janadidi bakshi arnab goswami it means Ame that Ame imran left. khan is really become the world leader and you must be afraid of the day again that imran khan and army are same they are together you will see in future and let me tell you one thing which ever government two. is in pakistan Past one two. thing is for sure whether it is shabash sharif whether it is anybody nobody will compromise on the sovereignty He's and responding. independence of pakistan and we will fight against all the terrorism whether you talk about imran khan whether you talk about anybody one thing you general just keep in mind last what 30 seconds the way you are thinking seconds, that general bakshi I I got your point. Taliban. You're repeating it now. Jal Bakshi is responding last. Jal Bakshi, go on, it please. It was not a support of Taliban. It was. It was you know, pure. You know. You uh, know. Uh, thank you. We got you. We got you. We heard the Sermon of the Mount. Thank you, no, sir. We heard you. Explain. Now let us also remind you of some few facts. Arnab, recall the, the time. Recall the time knows, it makes when laugh. you know the Taliban had captured. Kabul recall the time when the Taliban had captured Kabul and there was triumphalism in Islamabad they felt they had gained their long sought for strategic depth in Afghanistan they had turned Afghanistan into a kind of a colony of Pakistan and you should have seen the celebrations in their famous hotel in Kabul when the DG ISI yes. went there you recall those days Arnab I I hope I our Pakistani okay. friends do. You know the you simple the fact program. is the simple fact is that today okay, was, uh, the same Taliban has shown you your place.